Now, the record boys have been eliminated from the CONCACAF Gold Cup after falling 1-0 to the United States at the quarterfinal stage in Texas on Sunday. Simon Preston reports. Just like they did against Costa Rica, the Jamaicans had a bright start against the Americans as they tested goalkeeper Matt Turner on numerous occasions. Junior Flemings had two efforts in the first half. The first one went wide, while the other in the 39th minute forced a save from goalkeeper Turner. In the second half, Bobby Reed tested Turner from an acute angle, but the 27-year-old covered his near post well. On the opposite end, substitute Gyasi Zardes gave some work to captain Andre Blake as his shot was saved. When the game looked set for extra time, Uncle Sam's army found exactly what they were looking for. Forward Matthew Hape headed in what turned out to be the game winner in the 82nd minute. This was the first time the reggae boys were losing a Gold Cup quarterfinal since 2011. The win sent the Americans to the semi-finals to face Qatar. Reggae Boys captain Andre Blake reacted to the result. It was a very tight game. You know, it was a one-play game, and unfortunately tonight, you know, we were on the, the wrong side, so it happens. I think um, there were still a lot of positives from the game, and we just have to go back and, and look at some film and get ready for the World Cup qualifiers. In the other quarterfinal played on Sunday, Canada blanked Costa Rica 2-0. The semi-finals are slated for Thursday, while the final is set for Sunday. Simon Preston reporting for TVJ Sports. Meanwhile, President of the Jamaica Football Federation, JFF Michael Ricketts, says the reggae boys fell below his expectations at the CONCACAF Gold Cup. Ricketts was hoping the team would have had a deeper run in the competition to gain more match practice ahead of the World Cup qualifiers in September. Well, very disappointing. I mean, we started out reasonably well, but really ended in disappointment. The JFF would have heavily invested in this tournament, so we really expected better results. But the big picture is down the road. The World Cup qualifiers start on September 2. We really wanted to use more of this tournament as part of the preparation process. But um, that did not work out based on our investment. We are extremely disappointed, but we want to put that behind us and certainly look forward to the World Cup qualifiers starting on September 2. Now Jamaica's quarterfinal exit also means that it's, a fir it's the first time no Caribbean team is in the semi-finals of the Gold Cup since 2013.